It's hard to believe that the Advent season is already upon us. Some days it felt like it would never arrive. But, but now that that it's here... It kind of feels like we're not ready for it. Not yet. I mean, is it okay to celebrate? Is it okay to be happy? To decorate? To carry on as normal? Well... We all know about normal. Normal's gone. Even the new normal didn't last long. Or the one after that. No, normal has been cancelled. Just like everything else this year. Travel plans. Dinner guests. Carol sings. None of it seems likely. Canceling plans has become more normal than actually carrying them out. We all hold our expectations more loosely now. Perhaps we should have been doing that already. Perhaps this year has shown us how much we take for granted. I can't remember at Thanksgiving where I felt more genuinely thankful. For my doctors. For my kids' teachers. For the checker at the grocery store. For my family. My co-workers whom I haven't seen in months. What I wouldn't give to hear them singing from the cubicle while I'm trying to concentrate. Now singing. Is it even safe? It's too risky. So how can we celebrate even if we wanted to? Joy to the world. Peace on earth. I look around and all I see is loss. The economy. I need to be more careful this year. I can't afford it, but should I? My brother lost his job. My best friend lost her mother. I've lost. No. No. It's too much. There are no words. No more tears left to cry. How can I celebrate with such a heavy heart? I trust that things will get better. Maybe. We hope. But is it even safe to hope? And hope in what? A vaccine? A cure? A rebound? That things won't go back to the way that they were before? Maybe by prom, or at least graduation. That things will at least start getting better. Eventually. Before all of this seems so long ago. I've had enough already. But all I keep hearing is not yet. What if this is actually the perfect time to celebrate Christ coming to earth? Teetering in the balance between already and not yet. The ancient world languished between the prophecy and its fulfillment. We languish still in the midst of the already and before and not yet. Jesus has already come to earth, but Jesus has not yet returned. At Christmas, we celebrate his coming and anticipate it just the same. Deliverance, healing, freedom from oppression. These things he has already given us, and still for many, they're not yet experienced. 
gifts purchased and extended, but not yet received or fully unwrapped. Redemption is unfolding and taking hold slowly, right before our very eyes. Too slowly for our impatient tastes. Yet, slowly, tentatively, Christmas dares us to move forward, to be confident in things hoped for but not yet seen, to trust that God is already with us, and yes, to celebrate, even in the midst of chaos, that hope has come already and not yet.